Now, of course, you can navigate through the drawings that we have done so far. Just take a look at them. You can also remove any page. Okay, this is our the sketchpad stuff. Then this is my slab details. I call this my first floor. Slab details. We call it slab details one because we have basically two of that. So this is my first floor slab detail two. This is my bin GA bin details. Okay, that's it. Now, basically, any of this page can be exported to AutoCAD just in a click. All you need to do is go to Tools and you click Export to AutoCAD, Export Current Drawing Page to AutoCAD. And then you put in the name you want to use. Let me call this. In fact, I can actually copy this direct. Right? And then Export to AutoCAD. Let me call it first floor beam details. That's it. It creates a DSF and goes into AutoCAD. You can open it up in AutoCAD. The same thing with the slab. Just I can pick this up. Okay, let me let me show this. Can see our beam is a DSF. That's it. It takes it to AutoCAD. That's as good as it can. This is my column. You can say export to AutoCAD. This is as good as it can get. This is my first floor beam GA. You can see say export to AutoCAD. For the D, I have to remove the dots. So I don't confuse the DSF. Fine. So that's it. And then this is my roof GA. Can just to say the same thing as port to AutoCAD. AutoCAD DSF. It's done. It's my foundation details. As in such a simple manner, we have virtually exported almost all the drawing to AutoCAD DSF. So that's it. And of course, you can open up this in AutoCAD DSF. It's a DSF file which can open any AutoCAD application or any application that understands AutoCAD. Okay, I can open up the, of course, if you open AutoCAD application, like here I have um, DWG TrueView, it's Auto, Auto, Autodex TrueView. I can open it up in it, understand any application, understand it, DSF. Okay, let me open my first floor beam details. Okay, let's open this zoom extent. So, you can see the beam all laid out in AutoCAD without any trouble. Of course, you can apply quite a lot of formatting. You can change the, the test style, the colors, and all, all whatnot. I mean, all this you can very well do in AutoCAD. Okay, so you can see it is possible to AutoCAD. I don't basically do anything, you know, it's, it's quite very sweet. All my drawings are all exported to AutoCAD without me actually lifting, you know, a mouse to draw any of them in AutoCAD. Okay, so that's it. I'm also show you this, the same thing in uh, QDX um, in, 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 in Quick Super Series. Um, that's it. This is my Beam GA, Beam Details. You can see this being four, the same with what we have in AutoCAD. It's been four. 
So th that is as good as you can get. I mean, the same way I can open the other drawings. Um, take my GA. First floor beam GA. Just do some extent. So you can see. Here you can arrange it. Put it in order as you want. And then it's ready to good to go. I mean, you can print right all the way from here down. Okay, that's all about how you can, of course, take the drawing to AutoCAD. It's quite very simple. Just bring up a drawing page, go to Tools, and then say Export to AutoCAD. Give it a name. That's all you need to do. Now, let me also show you how you can print the drawing using our own software, using Civil Soft, of course, Civil Soft Quick Civil Series 7 without going to AutoCAD. To print the drawing through um, Civil Soft Quick Civil Series 7, first of all, you change the view to print view. As you can see, throughout the, the my explanation so far, I always rotate between the views. This is my floor view. This is where all the modeling are done. I have the column map, the foundation map, the 3D, which you basically do nothing but to just click on it and it will put the drawing into 3D for you. Okay. You can even see the foundation base that we just designed. That is quite very beautiful. It's quite nice. Okay. Then, of course, you have the 3D. You have the sketchpad view for your free sketching. Okay. And then, of course, we have the title block. We have the print view. We have the drawing view. The drawing view is where all the details we have done so far. That is where they are. Where they are. Like the slab and all whatnot. All the details are there. Now, to print, of course, we do the printing there right at the print view. Okay. But before we print, of course, we might want to create some title block. The software have a way of you know, creating a custom view title block for you, so you don't actually waste much time. Like checked by, then the client name, consultant, Another address and all whatnot. I mean, you fill it in design by, and then the drawing, drawing title. Let me call this foundation layout. Okay, and then of course the drawing, the sheet number. Let me say zero one. After you're feeding the, the, the title block info, I can now create an A3 title block. You can see all those infos we have are all there, of course, which you can edit or even reconfigure. Like the sheet layout, the, the foundation layout, the, the, the drawing sheet title, of course, I can always change and all the rest. Okay, I have my title block. Just go back to the print view. You can see the title block is there. I can just zoom the window. Then I can select the drawing I want to print. In this case, I want to print my foundation layout. You can see the foundation layout. I can increase the scale. Scale 1 in 75 or scale 1 in 50. I can just use this to adjust the drawing inside the drawing window. Okay. And then uh, I can also set the print. Okay, in this case, let me um, print to it a PDF. Okay, I can do page setup. Can A3 paper. Then I can change print to PDF. I can preview the drawing. I can say print. And then I can um, give the name of the file. Let me call it um, Foundation Layout. That's it. So can see my foundation layout in PDF. It's quite very simple. 
you actually don't do much you know it creates the the title block and everything out there the right one you can print it from here of course click on print and and that's it i mean you you print okay that is how you can print the drawing i mean it's quite very simple you can literally print almost all the, the 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 pages like now i have my foundation layout i can go back to the, the, the title block and i can the next page i can say is my first floor beam ga I can also copy that. That's my first floor beam GA. I can change the title and the shape number. Go to the print view. Bring in my first floor beam GA. And that's actually one of the reasons why I was personalizing the pages. So it is easy for me to locate. This is my first floor beam GA. So you can see. And then I just print. We call this my first floor beam GA. So that's it. In the same way, I can also print first floor slab details. The sheet number. Zero three. Go back to my print view and select my slab details. And of course, I can um, reduce to make it. I can even use scale one in sixty five. Okay, then I can preview it and print. This is my first floor slab details. So that's, that's how simple you can actually work with the software. You can see my first floor slab details. Okay. Or you can change the print to to printer and print direct to the printer okay so that's the way the software enables you to print a very simple printing then it could be in the later uh, part of the train I, I might also show you how you can of course adjust the drawings configure it even draw your own reinforcement but it, it gives you the tool to do all that through our detailing tool you can configure a bar you can define the zone indicators you can define the reinforcement zone, put the zone indicators, and the software will just work with it. Okay, so that is it.